guys, so I'm here to do my review for Her Hair Company. Um, I told you guys that I was going to do a review for them when I come back from Mexico, so here it is. Um, I've been wearing the hair for about three weeks now. Um, yeah, so about three weeks now. And I don't want to do like an initial review since I've only been wearing it for three weeks. So I'm just going to give you guys an update on the hair. So this is like my mid-level review on this unit. Um, I'm just going to tell you guys, first, um, the hair that I'm wearing right now is their Deep Curly, which is so, so beautiful of a curl. I have in three bundles and a closure. The lengths that I have in my hair is 16, 18, 20, and I believe a 16 or 14 inch closure. I don't remember, but I'm definitely going to put all the exact lengths that I have below this video. Um, I installed almost all of the bundles that I have in my hair, except for for uh, this little piece right here. So this is the length, the, this is the amount of hair I have left over out of the three bundles that I used to make the wigs. So the hair was packaged in this beautiful white box with the Her Hair Company label on it. And even the bags that, the plastic bags that the hair came in also had the Her Hair Company um, logo on it. And I also received a thank you card. I was initially sent over uh, four bundles and a closure, but with curly hair, I know that you don't really need that much hair, especially judging by how thick the, the wefts were. The lengths were so big in each um, bundle, I knew that all I needed was three bundles um, to make the unit the way I want it to look. So what I did is I um, contacted a company and I shipped back that fourth bundle because it just made no sense for me to have it and they can use that hair to sell to one of their customers. So that's what I did. So I shipped back um, their 22 inch um, and the reason why they sent me four bundles is because they said usually um, their customers say that it's really thin with three bundles, so they gave me an extra bundle, but I didn't need that with me. I guess it's because of the lengths that I chose. So I'm not sure with you guys if you guys are interested in purchasing the hair, but with me, I only use three bundles and I have a little bit of hair left over. Again, the lengths that I'm wearing is 16, 18, and 20. Now... In my life update video, I gave you guys a sneak peek of the hair. Um, the hair was not fully styled. Um, I just was um, cutting it and layering it. And this is just a clip of me showing you guys how I was layering the hair um, before I decided to um, turn on the camera and do, uh, actually turn the video around and do my life update video. Um, I didn't like that I was cutting so much hair off, so I changed the whole unit up after I did my life update video because I wanted my hair to look perfect for my trip to Mexico. So the only thing I did was I removed the 20 inches from the bottom and I removed the 16 inches from the top and I switched it around. So now I have the 20 inches on the top and the 16 inches on the bottom and I left the 18 inches in the middle. So the bottom is uh, 16, then it's 18, and then it's 20 on the top and then I have the closure. And then all I did was I just put layers throughout it. I just didn't feel comfortable cutting so much of the 16 at the 16 to 20 on the bottom so I just moved it to the top and then just trimmed it a little bit just to get this um, just full like natural style um, as far as the hair is concerned I did color it it came in a color 1b when I initially got it but since I put the indigo in my hair uh, which made my hair more of a black I ended up putting on a black color which is just my favorite Revlon um, soft black that I put in the hair Use about two boxes on it just to color the hair. Um, anything else I'm missing? Um, shedding and tangling I would get to because um, I wore it in Mexico. So I'll give you guys an update on that. But um, how I put the unit on my head, um, basically what I did, I'm just going to show you guys my braid pattern. Um, so excuse my braids because they've been in for about three weeks now. But I just braided my hair up and just left a perimeter out. I initially wanted like an actual like defined part. So that's why I have my hair um, braided with the part going to my right. But I ended up just not doing a defined part and I just wanted to just look super natural and fluffy and things like that. So that's what I did with the hair. And I also sewed the unit down um, completely, not in the front part of my closure. I just sewed just around the, well, no, I did. So I sewed literally the entire perimeter of my hair um, down because I knew I was going to do excursions and stuff while I was in Mexico and I didn't want my unit flying off of me. And also I didn't want to bother with taking my wig off and putting it back on every single night. So um, I didn't have to do that. Now, while in Mexico, um, 
I stayed at a resort that was similar to the resort that I stayed at when I went to Jamaica last year. Um, and the company that owns the resort is called AM Resorts. So for my honeymoon, I stayed at one of the resorts called Dreams, which was in Tulum, Mexico. And then for my one year anniversary, I stayed at um, Secrets, which was in Jamaica. So I assumed since I stayed in Secrets and I stayed at the Preferred Club, which is like the VIP section, um, in Jamaica, they had conditioner in um, the room. So I assumed that I wouldn't have to worry about bringing my own conditioner because it's the same resort and I'm staying in Preferred Club again. But I was so wrong. Um, they did have shampoo there, they did have shower gel, and they did have body lotion, but the shampoo was a conditioning shampoo. So my hair wasn't, um, wasn't as nice in Mexico as I planned it to be. Um, I did get in the pool. Um, I did. Um, I did not get into beach water as I planned. No, I did. Um, only because we took a boat ride to the another resort to do jet skis. So the water from the ocean, per se, was splashing up on my unit. So it did get some salt water in it. Um, and I did stay in a cenote. Also, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, when we did ATV, so that purified water did touch the hair. So doing that all of the days, um, and then I did the spa also. So with the spa, you have to do like the sauna, and you have to do like the steam room, and then you got into like the jacuzzi area. So that chlorine water was also in my hair. So with all of that, um, I eventually decided to shampoo with the conditioning shampoo while I was in Mexico, and um, the hair did tangle a lot. Uh, it was very, very hard for me to detangle from from being in all of those elements, especially in the bottom part, like right under here. It was a matted mess, um, but luckily I had like my pick with me, so I tried my best to like detangle and um, I used the diffuser that they had, not the diffuser, I used the blow dryer that they had in the hotel to try to bring the curls back to life but it just wasn't the same I'm gonna see if I can insert clips from my trip to Mexico in there so you guys can kinda of get a feel of how my hair looked but I definitely will give you guys um, a vlog that I did I tried to do a vlog so hopefully it's it's decent when you guys see it but you guys will get to see an update on how my hair looked while I was in Mexico so I'm definitely just stay tuned for that it's gonna take me some time to edit that so just to give you a feel of it but anyway Long story short, when I came back to New York, I couldn't wait to let this wig touch some Aussie Moist. So what I did was um, I put just a generic um, shampoo in the hair just to try to get all the elements that was in my hair while I was on vacation. The salt water, the chlorine water, um, and all of that sorts. I put all of that in the hair and then I used my Aussie Moist, which I, I'm telling you it's like the best thing ever for my hair. So I used that and then I just fingled detangled and this is the shed hair that I got out. So my hair was a matted mess um, after being on vacation for so long and not being able to actually take care of the hair. Um, so this is all the hair that I got out but at the end of the day the hair is back to its just bounciness like it's look at this I can put my fingers through the curls like even from the bottom part. So the hair did revive back from my trip to Mexico and it's still the same way that it was um, where I initially got it. So as long as you take care of your hair, I think you should be good to go. I didn't put a diffuser in it. I let this hair air dry in my window and um, then I put it back on my head. This is not sewn down, it's just literally thrown on. As far as my leave out is concerned, I just twisted my leave out overnight and I left it in there because I also had to wash my hair and deep condition it and just get all the elements that I had in my hair as well out and then I just put Cantu, Cantu Shea Butter in my hair and some olive oil just to seal it and left it in my hair for a few days. Um, so the unit has actually been sitting on the wig since I came back home, sitting on my mannequin head since I came back home from Mexico on Friday. Um, I didn't update this video, put up this video sooner because I did get sick, um, when I got back from Mexico. So, uh, my husband and I, as well as my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law, we all got sick. Um, so I was sick until yesterday. So, um, I was finally able to throw my wig on, put some makeup on, and just be beautiful. So hopefully this update is not too long on this hair. I always want to try to give you guys as much information as possible. 
If you are interested in this hair, I do advise that you listen to everything I said in this video so when you're going out and you're buying the hair, you know what you're prepared for, especially if you're buying it for when you go on vacation. That's about it guys. If you guys have any questions about my hair update, um, I hopefully this video is not too boring and too long, but I just wanted to give you guys everything that's been going on with this hair. Um, so far, so good. Um, as far as tangling and shedding, I told you guys that the hair did tangle and that's because I did not take care of it while I was in Mexico. When I was home and I had the unit on my head, I didn't have any tangles or any shedding. I did keep my hair up in a pineapple, which I did show you guys in my vlog. Um, how I slept at night with it and how I maintained my um, my hairline with it. Um, I have no product in this hair at all, so the hair has this beautiful shine to it. I guess that's all I can say right now on this unit. Um, I'm probably going to wear it for another week and then give you guys my final review on it. Um, next week is my last week here in New York City and then I am moving to Florida the week after. Um, and stay tuned for my vlog. And I will see you guys in my next video.